today. South Dakota wind, water, and more wind. What are you gonna do about it? Rooster! We discover widely unhunted land. Oh, and it's all public, if you can get to it. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Peasants Forever. Who doesn't love that moment? You know, when the gear goes into the truck. You throw uh, that kind of stuff in the back. This should tell you who we're traveling with. Isn't that something? Highfalutin. Aaron Sandquist heads up Minnesota's Pheasants Forever team. Stop. South Dakota. He's a busy guy, <laughs> so I'm kidnapping him. <laughs> Sorry, PF. We head for South Dakota. A six hour drive straight west. Okay, so this trip, we're thinking out of the box a little bit. Chamberlain, South Dakota is one of the best spots on the planet to chase ringneck fish. I brought along my boat. We're gonna find a spot to camp and a spot to hunt. See, darn near all the land along the Missouri, right around Chamberlain, is public. Army Corps of Engineers buffer land, and it's all free game to hunt if, and that's a big if, if you can get to it. That's why I towed along the boat. Well, this seems like a great spot to camp. Jim Ristow lives around these parts. He's Pheasants Forever's local guy, and he knows how to hunt the river. I love the Missouri River, absolutely love it. Had a lot of great times on the Missouri. We're setting up camp at a place called the Dude Ranch. It's actually a public camping spot right along the river. Yeah, little padding here. We don't want to rough it. I just think we got wind coming tomorrow. We just gotta make sure this puppy is not in Missouri. See, South Dakota tends to blow. We got wind coming. I don't want to camp to take a swim. Well, I think we're trying to do kind of an unconventional pheasant hunt, you know, something a little more extreme, a little more layered. The thing is, in the morning, we'll be able to get up, have a little breakfast, get in the boat, and go find a spot to hunt. With camp firmed up and the wind already tickling, we decide to try and squeeze in a quick afternoon hunt. Believe it or not, in South Dakota, there's still spots you can hunt that don't get hunted. You just gotta know how to get to them. We want to use the boat to get to spots that are otherwise unreachable, at least by land. Like the wind's picking up. Although the Missouri measures under one mile wide right here, South Dakota wind makes our trip tricky. She's an ornery river today. What I think, Bill, is go back up there where that slope's a little steeper. Yeah. And, and put your bow on the shore and tie her up. Things we do to hunt. <laughs> do a lot of people get down here to hunt? Just not many. Smart people. <laughs> we walk up the beach and sneak back into seemingly untouched habitat. This is where busy beavers comes from. Holy cow. This would be a good spot for a rooster to be hunkered down right now. Rooster! There it goes. Little rascal. Another bird. There goes another bird. Hen. Look at all the birds going. Hen, 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 hen. Oh, holy 
Holy cow, did you see that? There must have been, I bet there were 15 hens. Rooster. That's a good shot. That's Why didn't you shoot that one? What's that? Why didn't you shoot that one? I was waiting for you to shoot it. Nice job, man, that was a great shot. We got supper tonight. That was a great shot. We decide to hoof it up top and hike the hill back to the boat. Look at there. If you wonder what unhunted South Dakota habitat might look like. Be ready, Bill. You're going to find out next if the flushing birds don't get in the way. There goes. This there. The Flush is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Waltons, everything but the meats. Aluma Trailers. And by Nutrisource. Along South Dakota's Missouri River. Wow, this looks good, Jim. We hunt the unhunted. Look at that bird fly. Right in my lap. Oh, man. That was a six shot bird right there. You got it all on tape, too, didn't you? Of course I did. <laughs> I got a good excuse, but I'll keep it to myself. See, all this land belongs to the Army Corps of Engineers, and it's all public along the river. There it goes. And, and, and. That was cool. Near impossible to get to unless you access it by water. Oh, this has turned into a great hunt. Hang up. Rooster. Look at the birds going. There goes another one. Jeez. Holy cow. Where did we leave that boat? Not funny, boys, not funny. That boat's your ride home. Hand, hand. Do a little bit of work and you have these wide open spots. Jim doesn't think half a dozen people get in here in a year to hunt some of this stuff. That's pretty good South Dakota hunt. That's a hen. That's a rooster. A rooster? Different. It's a rooster. Better be a rooster, because it's dead. Come on, puppy. Got the job done. Heard shots. With a windy afternoon hunt in the bag. She's still there. The greeny lives. We find the boat and head for camp. We earn our time to relax. Too bad we can't take it. We're going to eat well tonight. In pheasant camp, another task always pops up. It's all just one big dip. Tonight, we eat like kings. Settling in around a warm fire, we slowly realize this is really why we take these trips. 10 hours blow by in a sleepy wink. Come sun up. South Dakota howls. The one factor that I didn't anticipate or expect is the wind. And uh, I should have, it's South Dakota after all, but uh, you know, I just didn't quite expect it to be that breezy in Missouri. Well, hey, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing. We realize the river won't be an option, or at least a smart one. It just, it just wasn't safe. So plan B. Our backup is a 10 minute drive to a piece of public just outside of Chamberlain. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling confident. Good luck. We hunt public stuff right next to town. God, this weather. It's getting worse. I have a feeling our camp is getting torn to shreds. The good news, we see birds. There he goes. Wow, pheasants, pheasants, pheasants. The bad? Wind makes them way too skittish. Oh. The wind, it just grinds you. And attitudes go south. So what's the game plan? Go over there. <laughs> <laughs> he thought we had this big speech lined up. 
we sneak between a shelter belt to a piece of chest deep grass. Rooster! Rooster. Pan! Tonk's got that one up. Rooster! Rooster! If you ever doubt that persistence truly pays off, the next 10 minutes might change the way you think. At least when it comes to South Dakota roosters. The Flush is brought to you by Benelli, Carlson's Choke Tubes, The Shooter's Choice, Ruffland Kennels, and by Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. On a, let's call it, gusty South Dakota day, Rister! you might not expect this sort of action. Watch where he goes. Some of the larger game production areas have have really great access. Oh, most of these are, you know, several thousand acres in size. Tonks has a point. <laughs> Rooster. <laughs> oh my god! Did you see that one? <laughs> That'll be a tasty one there. You see that? He was on point. Time for wind check. I'm worried that things have changed. There goes bird. There goes bird. There go birds. There go birds. There go birds. Oh. There go birds. Roosters. Roosters. I was pleasantly surprised by the lack of people out here. Rooster. These pheasants are better than smart. They're darn right brilliant. Yeah. No bird, huh? No bird. Well, it's great there's places like that. You can still go and get up a rooster. Too bad the roosters stayed well out of range. I blame wind. Seems every critter wants to escape this blow. After lunch, Jim's got to get to his son's high school football game, so Aaron and I decide to hunt another piece of public property. So, under a giant South Dakota sky, we walk a last couple of spots. Holy cow. That's a rooster too, dang it. We grind that one last spot, and wouldn't you know, those birds go right out the end on us. What do you do? Nothing, we head for the truck. And, well, that's not fair. Rooster! There you go. You do that, you that grab one? yours. After such a tough afternoon hunt, <laughs> that happens? Are you serious? Good girl, bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here. Good girl. Hunting smart, hunting quiet, and, and uh, it did pay out. <laughs> I'm cool. Boom, boom. It's all worth it for all the ones that got away, two didn't. What an unbelievable hunt. Can you believe it? In those last few minutes, those magic moments, as, as pheasant hunters refer to, things just came together. Rarely does it go according to plan. This time it did. <laughs> Look at their knuckles. Me. Boom, boom. Lay down. <laughs> She's tired. Yeah. You know what? You deserve that. She's been just pounding. A good way to end the night. Just when you think you can't beat a hunt, life clouds things up. Or should I say, fogs it in. Finally, we lose our wind. Today we need a little mojo. So I'm up before the sun and we're making pancakes. The thought is, it's gonna finally give us some good karma. So 
So the idea is we're here, we're going there. It's time to hunt. Come on in. Look at those happy dogs. Uh, Look at those happy hunters. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. No wind. Our camp sits silent. And look above camp. They smelled my pancakes. Do you want to go in down? Yeah, let's okay. try that first spot again. We pick a spot to beach the boat, and like that, you can hear them cackling across the river. Pull up, we're not even up on shore, and the roosters are flying out right in front of us. In a matter of moments, a good South Dakota hunt will become something none of us will soon forget. Rooster! South Dakota, on a glass calm morning, finally shows its true colors. Hard to get to unless you've got a boat. Well, almost. Oh, oh, oh. You made it. I'm down to my knees in mud. <laughs> Let's go hunt. I have dreamed literally for years of hunting this honey hole a piece of Army Corps public land right along the Missouri River. Property almost impossible to access unless you go by boat. Simply pick a spot, beach the boat, then walk. Soon as we hop off and we start walking, the dogs start getting birdie. Come on. What do we walk? A hundred feet, and all of a sudden, take him. Nice. Rooster, rooster. <laughs> These are pheasants that just don't get hunted. Good job. I think probably, though, the element of surprise came into play. There's a rooster. We're on the right track here. Good. Nice shot, Aaron. Oh, there it goes. There goes the rooster. These birds just aren't used to things coming at them from the water. There's a lot going on. I mean, it's awesome. Aaron's over here shooting. Jim is over there shooting. I'm popping off shots. There it goes. You want to talk about good bird numbers in South Dakota? I think it's fair to say we found it. Just wild roosters and hens blowing up all around us. Young rooster. Whoa, whoa, hen. Hen. Whoa, bird. Bird. We're moving birds. Rooster! Rooster! Before we know it, we about have our limit. And... Rooster! Nice! <laughs> uh, now we have it. <laughs> Way to go. Wow. Not bad for a two and a half hour hunt. Yes, this is quite a spot to hunt. I promise, we won't tell anyone. <laughs> Even as we hoof it back to the boat. There goes another one, look at all of them, look at all of them. Look at all of them. Oh. Rooster, rooster, Three, rooster, four. rooster. <laughs> <laughs> you get the point. Ah, get out of our way, we just want to go to the boat. Time to clean up this camp and get out of Dodge. This is the hunt. This is exactly what we dreamed up when we said, get in the boat and go hunt these public spots along the river. You know, it's almost uh, mind numbing, the amount of habitat and the places you could go. 
If this doesn't go down as one of the best hunts we've ever been a part of in South Dakota, I don't know what gives. I don't know how you trump this.